Picture this. You're a seasoned sailor and you've guaranteed safe passage for a stranger on your ship. You've given your word and now you're bound by it. But what if the seas turn rough? What if that stranger proves to be a liability? You're caught in a snare of your own making, trapped by your own promise. What's the solution? Humility. Go to your fellow sailor, explain your predicament, strive to free yourself from the entanglement. Don't rest until you've regained your freedom. Be as relentless as a gazelle escaping from a hunter, as determined as a bird fleeing from a trapper. Consider the humble ant. Without a chief or overseer, it diligently gathers its food during the summer, preparing for the winter. It doesn't lounge around waiting for food to magically appear. It's a lesson in self-discipline and foresight. Because if you choose to sleep your days away, poverty will creep up on you like a prowler, and need will strike you down like an armed man. Now, let's turn our gaze to a different creature, a wicked man. Imagine him as a snake, slithering and sly. His words are venomous, his actions deceptive. He stirs up trouble, sows discord, and revels in his wickedness. But just as a snake meets its end at the hands of a snake charmer, so too will disaster strike this man suddenly, leaving him broken with no chance of healing. The Lord detests certain things, much like how a gardener hates weeds that choke his beautiful flowers. The Lord despises arrogance, the weed that strangles humility, lies, the pests that eat away at truth, and the shedding of innocent blood, the blight that mars the beauty of life. He hates wicked plans that root themselves in the heart, feet that hurriedly run towards evil, false witnesses who spew out lies, and those who spread discord among brothers. They are like invasive species that ruin the harmony of a garden. So, let's strive to be like the ant, diligent and disciplined, and not like the snake, wicked and deceitful. Let's cultivate a garden in our hearts that's free of the weeds the Lord detests. It's not just about avoiding what's wrong, but also about actively pursuing what's right. And in doing so, we enrich not just our lives, but also those around us.